inshallah this is the next part of our circles m set those who have not seen the first part i request them first to see the that first part because we are having the complete formulas in that part okay so first revise all the formulas before going to the questions see here if a circle with a radius 2.5 units passes through the points suppose there is a circle which is passing through the points suppose you see here suppose one point is 2 comma 3 let the other point be 5 comma 7 okay now see here then its center is dash let me take suppose center a comma b one more thing is given the radius is 2.4 now if we take center this one suppose and suppose let this be a this b we know this is radius this is also radius this is also radius that is we can write c a equals to c b c a equals to c b let me square this now c a means distance between c to a what is the formula of distance x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square so this will be a minus 2 whole square plus b minus 3 whole square now c b means this distance this is a minus 5 whole square plus b minus 7 whole square now let you expand this a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square 2 to the 4a plus b square now b square minus 2ab 2 3 is a 6b plus 3 square 9 let me expand here also a square minus 2ab 2 5 is a 10a plus b square 25 here b square minus 14b plus 49 now let me cancel a square b square now let me write first a minus 10a if we bring here it will be plus 10 10 minus 4 will be 6a minus 14b if you bring here it will be plus 14 14 minus 6 will be 8 8b 8b now if you bring here you see here 4 and 9 if you bring this plus 49 it will be minus 49 minus 49 plus 9 will be minus 40 minus 40 in the same way if we bring here plus 25 here it will be minus 25 plus 1 minus 21 so this will be minus 61 equals to 0 so let me do one thing or we can write like this 6a plus 8b equals to 61 now see here solving complete question will be very lengthy now let me put the points okay let me see whether which point satisfies the equation of center okay now you verify this one i am taking directly the answer suppose this is 7 by 2 comma 5 7 by 2 comma 5 let me substitute here we try here okay now see here 6 into x 3.5 is 7 by 2 3.5 is 7 by 2 plus 8 into b is 5 1 is 3 is 3 7 is 21 plus 40 this is 61 so by verification we can say that a comma b is satisfied by the d with 3.5 comma 5 so if by substituting the points we can see the answer okay now you see the next question if the point of intersection of tangents drawn at the points where the line cuts the circle suppose i will first explain with the concept suppose this is the circle this is the line so he is saying that tangents are drawn where the points line touches the circle so that is suppose these are the tangents cuts the circle is suppose this point is given as a comma b the point of intersection of the tangents drawn at the points points where the line touches the circle is a comma b then phi a plus b we already studied that if we draw this line tangents this line is called chord of contact this line is called chord of contact we take this point as x1 y1 and we solve the 
the equation for chord of contact is S1 equals to 0. So to find this point, we can use the formula of pole. For polar also, we can use the formula of pole to find the pole. And for the point of contact of this tangents, chord of contact point also, we can use the same formula of pole to find this pole. Wherever we use the formula S1 equals to 0, this S1, the point X1, can, Y1 can be, uh, can be determined by using the formula of pole. So we already, uh, in the previous first class, we know that the formula of pole is minus G plus LR square by LG plus MF minus N. So you remember that whenever we are having polar or chord of contact, chord of contact, polar or chord of contact, to find the point x1 comma y1, we can use the formula of pole. So we wrote already this in the first part, the formula of pole is minus g plus lr square by lg plus mf minus n, similarly the y coordinate. So the line we have to suppose lx plus my plus n, and we know what is g here, g is minus 1, f is minus 3 and c is minus 8. So we can find the radius r square equals to g square plus f square minus c. So let me substitute this values, we will get the value of a comma b. Now see here minus g, we are having minus 1 minus 1 is plus, plus l r square. What is the value of l here? 5 into r square is 18 by l into g. 5 into g is minus 1 f m m is 1 into f 1 into f we know what is the value of f is here minus 3 minus n the value of n is 1 comma here minus f minus of minus plus 3 plus m is 1 r square is 18 so same thing here let me solve this minus 5 minus 3 minus 8 minus 1 minus 9 see here 9 ones are 9 twos are this is also 9 9 ones are 9 twos are minus 9 so we left we here minus 4 this will be minus into plus here you will get minus so this will be 1 plus into minus minus 10 1 minus 10 will be minus 9 so 3 plus into minus minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 so this is a and b we have to find what we have to find phi a plus b phi a plus b so phi into a is minus 9 plus b is 1 so this is minus 45 plus 1 is minus 44 so this is the answer next question is here the circle touch both the axes touch the x axis y axis do not touch the axis we already know what is the condition for for touching x axis, we know that condition is g square equals to c. And for cutting y axis, we know f square equals to c. And both axes means f square equals to g square equals to c. So let me see what is the value of c here. c equals to 9 by 4. No g here we are having g this one minus 3 by 2. Reduce this to half that will be. The coefficient of x when by 2 is g. The coefficient of y by 2 is f. So what is g square? It will be 9 by 4. Sorry, 9 by 4 g square. So f square is also 9 by 4 and c is also 9 by 4. So we can say that it is the condition is g f square equals to g square equals to c. That is it touches both the axes. It touches both the axes. Now see the next question. If the length of tangent drawn from H comma K to the circle is twice the length of the tangent from the same point to the circle. We know what is the length of tangent. Suppose this circle is S, this circle is S dash. So length of the tangent to the first circle is root of S11 is twice means 2 into length of the tangent for the second circle S dash s11 double dash let me square this one so it will become s11 equals to 4 into s dash 11 s11 is in place of x signed y we have to put h comma k this is x1 y1 so if we put this it will become h square plus k square minus 16 equals to 4 into now if you put s11 dash here substitute the point 
it will be h square plus k square plus 2h plus 2k. Now let me multiply this one, it will become 4 into h square, 4h square. Bring this h square here minus h square. So this will be 3h square. Now 4 into h square is 4h square minus h square. If you bring this here, 3k square. Sorry. Now what is here? 2 for the 8h plus 2 for the 8k. Now if we bring this minus 16 here, it will be plus 16 equals to 0. So 8. 3h square plus 3k square plus 8h plus 8k plus 16 equals to 0. It is the third bit. Now you see the next question. Consider the circle whose center is a2 comma 1. Let me draw one circle. Its center is given by a2 comma 1. a2 comma 1. If a point P is, suppose there is a point here P 10 comma 7. Is such that the line segment PA, the line segment PA, meets the circle at Q, meets the circle at Q, meets the circle at Q, with PQ, with PQ as phi, with PQ as phi, then C equals to. See here we are having the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 2y plus c equals to 0. Now using these conditions you see we can find the radius of the circle. How the radius total this distance minus this distance. Radius equals to total this distance pa total this distance pa minus pq. Now pa means distance between p and a. Its formula will be under root of x2 minus x1. 10 minus 2 x2 minus x1 whole square 10 minus 2 8 8 square 64 y2 minus y1 7 minus 1 6 6 square 36 minus pq the value of pq is 5 so this is root 100 is 10 10 minus 5 is 5 so the radius of the circle we got 5 the radius of the circle we got 5 now what is the formula of radius under root of g square minus 2 square is 4 g square plus f square minus 1 square is 1 minus c g square plus f square minus c equals to 5. Now if you square this one 5 minus c equals to 25. Bring this 5 here minus c equals to 20. Bring this minus here c equals to minus 20. So the value of C will be minus 20. Now see here, if the line is a tangent at 0, 0 to the circle, suppose we assume some circle, see, if the tangent is here, tangent is x plus 3y equals to 0. At the point 0, 0, this is the point 0, 0 to the circle of radius 1. To the circle of radius 1 then the center of one such circle why one because we can get two circles we can have the same condition from this side also circle of radius 1 okay so what is the concept was here we have to find actually we are having one point of line here 0 comma 0 we have to find another point suppose this is a comma b we are having one point of this line we have to find one more point so we have to use the parametric equation of lines we know what is the parametric equation of the line is x equals to a plus mod r cos theta and y equals to b plus mod r sin theta this is suppose x y okay this point we are supposing a comma b so a is zero so we can write x equals to we can take mod r is one into cos theta okay in the same way y equals to b is 0 a and b is 0 0 comma 0 this is a comma b so mod b mod b is 0 mod r sin theta now how to find sin theta in cos theta watch here this line is perpendicular to this so the if we find the slope of this line we can find the slope of this line so what is the formula of slope 
for the line slope is minus a by b minus a by b minus a is 1 here b is 3 so this the slope of this line is minus 1 by 3 but this line is perpendicular to this line this line is perpendicular to this line so how to find the perpendicular line slope you reciprocal this and change the sign suppose one line is slope is 3 2 by 3 then the line perpendicular to this will be its slope will be minus 3 by 2 because we multi if we multiply this we must get minus 1 the product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is minus 1 so if the slope of this is minus 1 by 3 you change the sign and reverse it so the slope of this line will be 3 so the slope of the required line is m equals to 3 but the slope we can write as tan theta the slope we can write tan theta so this is tan theta equals to 3 so we can take from trigonometric ratios what is tan here tan is opposite by adjacent is 1 here so we have to find hypotenuse hypotenuse square equals to opposite square plus adjacent square 9 plus 1 10 root 10 so this is root 10 now let me substitute these values now what will you get x equals to if you take out plus this will be plus or minus cos theta cos theta the value of cos theta is the value of cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse 1 by root 10 in the same way y equals to plus or minus this is if you take out mod it will be plus or minus sine 3 by root 10 so the either we have to take both positive or both negative so the two points will be 1 by root 10 comma 3 by root 10 or minus 1 by root 10 comma minus 3 by root 10 okay so which will be the answer one positive one negative we cannot take either we have to take both positive or both negative so the answer is 1 by root 10 3 by root 10 is the answer okay so you must remember this one one more question is there like this if we are having the slope of tangent we can find the slope of the line joining the joining the centers so if we are having one point of a line we cannot we can find the another point of the line by using parametric equation of the line parametric equation of the line is x equals to a plus mod or cos theta y equals to b plus mod or sin theta where a comma b is the point which we know and x comma y is the point which we have to find on the line now you see the next question if the line is a tangent suppose this is the circle suppose this is a tangent 2x minus y plus c equals to 0 to the circumference x square plus y square equals to 5 compare with the general form x square plus y square equals to r square so its center is 0 comma 0 and radius is root 5 so this root 5 and this is 0 comma 0 then the value of c very easy question we know what is the condition radius equals to perpendicular distance from center to the line so radius is root 5 now distance from origin is just just we have the formula mod c by under root of mod c by under root of a square plus b square mod c by under root of a square plus b square so 2 square 4 plus 1 5 c is c only bring this 5 here root 5 root 5 c so we get the value of c equals to 5 c equals to 5 plus or minus 5 but it is given only plus 5 so this is plus 5 next question dekhi aap log. the length of the chord common chord of the two circles of radii 15 and 20 units whose centers are 25 meters apart suppose we are having two circles so this is the common chord we have to find the length of this what is given here the radius of suppose this is the first circle the radius of this circle is 15 and suppose this is center the radius of another circle is 20 and the distance between the centers is 25 we have to find this okay let you find this this is half if we double this this will get the we will get the chord of contact so we have to find this watch be carefully this is 15 this is 20 this is 25 if you take the ratios 15 20 25 5 3 is a 5 4 is a 5 5 is a 3 is to 4 is to 5 is nothing but the ratio of the this is the sides of a right angle triangle we know already 
be done many times, you know. Suppose this is 3, this is 4, this will be 5. So this is right angle triangle at this point, it is right angle triangle because this is the hypotenuse 25. So I am taking separately. See here. So suppose we are having like this. So this is 90 degrees. We have to find this side. Okay. This is 15 and this is 20. Let me suppose this as x. Now watch carefully. This is 90. Now if we take this theta, this will be 90 minus theta because total 180. This is already 90. So if this is theta, this will be 90 minus theta. So let me use the formula. This is opposite. This is hypotenuse. We can write sine theta. Sine theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse. In the same way here also sine 90 minus theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse x by 20. This will be nothing but cos cos theta equals to x by 20. Now what is the relation between sine and cos? The relation between sine and cos is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. So square this one x square by 15 square 225 plus y square y means cos squared x squared by 400 equals to 1. Take x squared common from here. If you take x squared common, you take the LCM, it will be 400 into 225. I'm writing like this. This will come here, this will come here. So this will be 400 plus 225 equals to 1. Bring this on the other side. So this would be x squared equals to 400 into 225 by 4 plus 2 is 625, 625, now let me cancel this one, 25 Pfizer, no? 25 into 25, 25 into 25, 25 into 9, we can cancel this also, 25 ones, 25, I think this is 9, no, 8, no? 25 ones, 25 ones, 25, 15, 56, so nothing but x square equals to 69 so 144 so x will be root of 144 is 12 so this we got 12 but this is the half of common chord so the complete chord will be 2 into 12 2 into 12 that is 24 that is 24 through origin we already know that suppose this is the equation of circle whenever the circle passes through origin the c value will be 0 it doesn't have the constant so we pass this through which means let me take out this so this is the equation of circle which makes an intercept of 4 on x axis and 8 on y axis what is the intercept on x axis intercept on x axis is 2 into under root of g square minus c so this is given as this is given as what is the value this is 4 no 4 so is g is this is 0 2 ones are 2 2 zero. so what will be the value g is if we square this one it will be g square equals to 4 g equals to plus or minus 2 in the same way y intercept is 8 2 into under root of f square minus c 0 equals to 8 2 ones are 2 4 zero. if you square this f square equals to 16 f equals to plus or minus 4 no left is substitute here so x square plus y square 2g 2 to the 4 plus or minus 4x 2f plus or minus 8y equals to 0 so this is the equation the locus of center of circle passing through origin suppose we are having one circle that is passing through origin passing through origin and cuts the length of four units from the line suppose this is x equals to 1 x equals to 2 x equals to 3 so this line we call this as x equals to 3 so this intercept of this line it is 4 okay next thing you see here then the locus of the center suppose this is the center a comma b okay now watch carefully now see here this is the radius so what will be the radius under root of this is the distance between two points under root of x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square this is radius so if we take here also this will be also radius r same this is r now this total is 2 if we draw a line from here perpendicular this will be 2 this will be 2 
Now you see here, total from here to here, we are having three. And this is the point, you know, watch carefully. This is the value of x coordinate of this a, this is a. Watch here, this line is x equals to 3, that means this is 3. This line is x equals to 3, that means this the value is 3. This point is a comma b, a is x intercept x coordinate. So this is a. So this, if this is a and this is 3, total 3, then this will be a ma 3 minus a, total 3 minus a. Now watch careful once more, I am writing like this. This is radius, so what is the radius uh, under root of a square plus b square. So this will also be radius r because this is also radius, this is also. The total intercept is 4. If you draw it perpendicular from here, it will be 2. Now see here, this total distance is 3, x equals to 1, x equals to 2, x equals to 3, this is 3. And the x in x coordinate is a, that means this is a. So this will be 3 minus a. Now we can apply the Pythagoras term here, hypotenuse square equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. Now what is r here? We take out root now. So this will be a square plus b square. 2 square is 4. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2 ab. 2 3 is a 6 a plus a square. You cancel this a square a square. So what is left here? Bring this here. I am writing like this b square plus 6a equals to 13. Now what we suppose this center as a comma b, you know, so that means this is x, this is y. So when we say locus of a comma b, in place of a we have to write x, in place of b we have to write y. When we say locus, in place of a we have to write x, in place of b we have to write y. So this will be y square plus 6x equals to 13. So this is the equation. So we have done few methods based on circles. Nearly we have done 60 questions. Now in the next part, inshallah, we will try for system of circles. Inshallah, we don't have many questions in system of circles. Maybe we are doing 20 to 30 questions enough. Okay. So in the next part, inshallah, we are going to continue, inshallah, the system of circles. Okay. So I request you to practice this all 60 questions. We have covered many types of questions in this text 16. Generally, I I don't uh, I have not done the same types of methods, but I try to change the methods every question. Okay, so you try these questions, inshallah, you will get the concept. You can try other questions also from other books, inshallah. So we are going to continue in the next class. I request you to like this, share this, and subscribe. Okay, inshallah, we are going into continuing in the next class for system of circles.